Hello everyone, I am the host of the YouTube channel Wang Yiba Inc. Sub. Nice to meet you again. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the hottest news of the day. And here's today's news. 17 years ago, it was a shadow of childhood. 17 years later, as Wang Yibo's girlfriend, she could always play a supporting role as a highlight. The popular film and television dramas in the past two years have, without exception, tended to depict group portraits. In acquaintance with Jun Chu, like The Return of an Old Man, which was launched this year, the shaping of Reba and Ren Jialun is deeply liked by the audience, and in addition to the two leading actors, Guo Xiaoting, who played the fairy princess of Shunda, became famous in the first battle and became popular. In this drama, Guo Xiaoting plays the arrogant and arrogant female supporting actress. She puts all the beauty in the world under her feet, and will persecute others for her own pleasure. And in the popular costume drama Kang Linju, Guo Xiaoting's performance has also become the focus of attention of the audience in addition to the two main characters Wang Hedi and Yu Shaxin. In the play, she is graceful, gentle and virtuous. When she appeared on the stage, she was the Orin in the world, living in the Feng Yue place, but not the slightest vulgar. And according to the plot setting, the role played by Guo Xiaoting is also the goddess of war who once sealed the 100,000, strong army of Dong Fan Quan Kong. From madly criticizing the heroine to the god of war who sacrificed for the world, Guo Xiaoting's ever-changing style can be regarded as a powerful interpretation of what is called actor-shaping power. Now it seems that there are not many hit dramas this year, but Guo Xiaoting has performed three dramas as a supporting role. In addition to acquainted with you at the beginning, just like The Return of an Old Friend and Kang Linju, she also played Wang Yibo's girlfriend in the hit TV series Ice Rain and Fire. In the plot setting, Yang Ling played by Guo Xiaoting has a very miserable life experience. Her mother died at the hands of drug dealers when she was very young. Her father fled abroad and left her in an orphanage to raise her. Yang Ling, who lacks love and loneliness, regards the anti-narcotics policeman Chan Yu as her support. She has a crush on him. It also helped Chan Yu at many critical moments. The relationship between the two is heating up day by day, and their relationship has finally been determined. But she never imagined that her father, who once left her in return to return, would become a famous drug lord. On one side is her love, and on the other side is the family that she cannot give up. Although Yang Ling's role in the play is not much, however, the difficulty of shaping this character is far greater than the relatively suspended character setting in the ancient puppet fairy. Looking at Guo Shouting's high, light role in shaping Yang Ling, the one that impressed me the most was when Guo Xiaoting appeared. In this play, Guo Xiaoting was wearing a bright yellow dress, and her whole body was full of liveliness and cheerfulness. She doesn't have many lines, but it can be seen that although she grew up in an orphanage, her childhood was not empty. Immediately after Wang Yubo's Chen Yu came on stage, the rivalry between the two is dominated by Wang Yubo's talk and Guo Xiaoting's quiet listening. In this scene, the audience can see many levels through Guo Xiaoting's performance. At first, her whole person was relaxed, but as the male protagonist's memories gradually pulled into the part of pain and self-blame, her eyes began to become more and more translucent, as if there were tears hidden, which could not be shed or taken back. Following Wang Yubo's chin Yu, he bowed his head helplessly, tugging at his short hair, and Guo Shouting's eyes expressed the full empathy to the extreme. That's right, it shows that with the help of Lin Dozen, the role of Yang Ling played by Guo Shouting, grow up smoothly. But in fact, the death of her mother and the departure of her father had left a mark on her heart. Now he heard that the male protagonist blamed himself for his negligence. How could she not sympathize hearing him describe his confrontation with desperate drug dealers at the border? More importantly, the TV series Ice Rain and Fire is actually a typical anti-drug theme. The emotional line between Wang Yibo and Guo Shouting is the one that the audience is most worried about. But I didn't expect that this line not only did not drag down the main plot, but also enriched the whole plot. Guo Shouting, who has few roles, has even become a highlight supporting role in Ice Rain and Fire. In short, this year Guo Shouting's high profile role let the audience gradually see the actor's strength in this little girl. But in fact, Guo Shouting has been a natural actress since she was a child. In 2017, Wrong Love Life starring Guo Shouting was launched. In the play, she portrayed Gu Yil Yuo in her childhood. In the plot setting, this character is a royal child who was dumped into a rich family. She knew that she was not the flesh and blood of the Gu family, so she tried her best to stay in the Gu family. In the play, she was only 10 years old, and she did everything for prosperity and wealth. At that time, Guo Shouting's eyes were clear, and the baby fat was still there. 
No matter how you looked at it, she was a cute and cute child. But I didn't expect that when she played the villain role, she would be able to fill up the contrast in an instant. It once became the shadow of childhood for many viewers. Of course, in addition to wrong love life, more audiences know Guo Shouting because the little potato jacaranda in The Legend of Sword and Fairy 3. Guo Shouting in this period already has the appearance of a girl, and the whole person is cute and cute. The characters are also quite flexible. In the play, she is as the five poisonous beasts that are hard to see in a century. The most pure and the best, the person she loves most is the heroine Shui Zhen. In the main story, she really doesn't have a particularly critical driving a role, but many viewers are against her in order to defuse the poisonous injury I remembered my own episode vividly. Obviously, Guo Shouting's positioning market is very broad, both before and now. She can be a kind and cute character, but she can also be a villain who doesn't even let herself go when she is crazy. And whether it is Shunda in Mortal Fairy or the Red, Earth Woman in King Linju, it all shows the versatility of her performance. As for the hit Ice Rain and Fire, it gave her a smaller stage, but asked her to create a more in-depth role. Click on the real, time discussion of Ice Rain and Fire and you will find that, there are many viewers who are dissatisfied with the existence of the role of Guo Shouting. On the one hand, Wei Nebo is the traffic, there are quite a lot of girlfriend fans. On the one hand, most of the audience has a weak relationship between the character's emotional line and the anti-drug theme. But the author believes that Yangling played by Guo Shouting is very important. The main line of the plot of Ice Rain and Fire shows the story of the criminal police who went to the front line of life and death for the purpose of anti-drug. In addition to the male protagonist Chin Yu, Wu Zhenfeng, who is hiding undercover, are all characters in the main line of the story. And Yangling is an ordinary person who is independent from the main line of criminal police and investigation. Her existence proves the significance of the criminal police rushing to the front line, it also proves the deadly interference that drugs can cause to the lives of ordinary people. Moreover, Guo Shouting did not have many roles in the whole drama, her existence did not affect the development of the main line. It also makes the development of the main line more reasonable and warmer. Today, Guo Shouting has become a gold medal supporting actress in many popular dramas. In general, these characters are all brilliant and completely different. The key is, now Guo Shouting is only 29 years old, and there are still many surprises she can bring to the audience on the screen. Looking back on her performance experience, 17 years ago, she was the shadow of the audience's childhood, and 17 years later, she played the villain and partnered Wei Nebo to shape his girlfriend. In short, she has the ability to turn this supporting role into the highlight of the play.